Keeping Up With Rue, written by Charlene Glenn and illustrated by Dan Anderson. Published in 2004, Keeping Up With Rue follows young Gracie's struggle to maintain her friendship with her Aunt Rue after she begins school. With piano lessons, schoolwork, and new friends, Gracie begins to wonder whether or not she can keep Rue as her best friend. Gracie always knew that her Aunt Rue was different. Even though she's a grown-up, she has the heart and mind of a kid just like her, which has kept them having fun together as long as she can remember. Rue's innocence and whimsicality set her apart from the other adults in Gracie's life, but as she gets older, she begins to wonder if different is a bad thing. Gracie ultimately has to discover for herself if she has outgrown her best friend. Rue and Gracie spent every day on another adventure around the farm. Rue taught Gracie how to climb trees, catch water skeeters, and make whistles out of snake grass, but she taught her a lot more. Every day the girls would play school, and Rue would teach Gracie every day that 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 4 plus 4 equals 8. When Gracie starts attending school, teacher and student switch, and Gracie begins teaching Rue things she's learned at school. After a while, Gracie decides that she doesn't want to play with Rue every day, leaving Rue without a playmate. Still, Rue waits for Gracie every day, and often she doesn't come. Rue begins to feel isolated and doesn't understand why Gracie doesn't want to play with her anymore. Instead, Gracie starts playing with a girl named Sarah, a girl who usually she visits, but one day, she has her come over and decides not to introduce her to her Aunt Rue. When Rue sees the two girls coming home from school, she runs towards them with ribbons in her hair, screaming for them to play with her. When Sarah asks who is that, Gracie quickly dismisses it and takes her inside without introducing her to Aunt Rue. Gracie was embarrassed of her Aunt Rue. By taking Sarah inside, she decided she didn't want Rue to play with them, but most importantly, she didn't want Sarah to know about her best friend. As the two girls continue to play, Gracie begins to feel guilty about her Aunt Rue, wondering if she did the right thing. After making their special after-school snack, showing off her pretty window hanging, and teaching Sarah how to make a sneak grass whistle, Gracie begins to realize just how much her Aunt Rue has given her. She decides that she wants her two best friends to meet, and the girls run inside to find Rue. Rue has taught Gracie more than she'll ever know with her persisting love and kindness. Gracie learned that her Aunt Rue will always be her best friend, and as always, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 4 plus 4 equals 8. While keeping up with Rue follows one girl's journey through adjusting to her aunt's disability, it showcases Rue in an altruistic light and exhibits that despite the span of years, Rue does not change in the same ways as others. Though it is not clearly defined in the book, Aunt Rue's heart and mind of a child, her limited school knowledge, and her strict schedule, like her continued appearance to play school even after Gracie stopped coming every day, suggests that the disability displayed in this book is a variety of an autism spectrum disorder. As the term spectrum indicates, the symptoms for ASD vary widely between individuals. Rue is portrayed to be introverted, but to have otherwise good socializing skills. And though she has a learning disability, she is able to be taught by Gracie throughout their school lessons, exhibiting playfulness and no frustration. Rue shines in a variety of ways as well, displaying outstanding creativity and imagination. From her apple crate desks, to her special after-school snack of chocolate graham crackers with banana. Rue marches through the farm singing and dancing, showing off much more than her artistic flair. Her simplicity and vivacity is unmatched, which is what relates her so well to other children. Unfortunately, like many individuals with autism spectrum disorder, 
Rue experiences being isolated because of her differences without fully understanding why. This story shows the growth of Gracie and Rue's friendship, and the strain on it as Gracie gets older and does not understand her aunt's differences. I loved seeing this unique point of view because it gave more to the audience than Rue simply overcoming diversity. Gracie is a family member and friend who had to come to an understanding with her aunt's disability, which is a natural process that this story allows her to become a role model for. Keeping up with Ruth celebrates the differences within a family, and more importantly, showcases how those differences can bring them together. This story also opened the door into further understanding of what autism is, and often isn't. Before my time with Keeping Up With Rue, I was not familiar with all of the disorders along the spectrum, nor how they vary from each other. The reality is that every case of autism is as different as every individual and every unique family who all deal with the disorder in their own special ways. Keeping Up With Rue showed the journey of a friendship and the journey to self. By not labeling exactly what Aunt Rue's disability is, Author Charlene Glenn was putting both person and audience first by allowing for her story and character to not be defined by their disability. Author Glenn writes, I fell in love with books very early, and I knew that someday I wanted to write them. With the winner of a Dolly Gray Children's Literature Award, Keeping Up With Rue fulfills both Glenn and audiences as a true success. 1 plus 1 still equals 2, 2 plus 2 still equals 4, and Rue will be warming the hearts of audiences for many years to come.